Um, how does a program, a university, take this and translate it into whatever the next place is? Because, as you know, 10 years ago, mm -hmm. U of I didn't do it. I mean, the program fell apart after they won their bowl game. And, and they, a lot of people who were here then didn't believe they capitalized on it. So how do you learn from history this time? Well, I think what we pay attention to is we've got we've got a we've got a wave of energy that's going right now. It's a very positive wave of energy. Uh, we've got goals that this university has, this football program has, our athletic department. You know, everybody here has. Um, well, you need you need momentum to make things happen. Well, we've provided the momentum. I think that we've got people excited about what's going on here. You know, we've we've been asking people to help us get things accomplished at the University of Idaho. See you. Uh, some of it requires donations. Uh, it requires effort. It requires a number of different things. Um, I know I've heard a lot of, hey, Coach, you know, we're with you all the way. And I've seen it. I see a great fan base, a great alumni base. I see a very passionate one, a very hungry one. And, 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 and rightly so. I mean, we're talking, it's been a decade since there's been a winning season in football. There have been 11 years since there was a, a postseason play. So I, I do understand that. Uh, they also told me, Coach, if you build it, we will come. You know, so how does that translate? We need to do everything we can to get them in the dome so they're there for the games. We need to do everything we can so the things that are we're working to get accomplished, uh, hey, it's happening now. We need you to be a part of this. And, and, and I, think it's a, I think it's a team effort that everybody needs to take part in and, 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 and enable these things to continue to grow. To me, now I was a long ways away at that point in time when that happened. I wasn't here. A lot of my people weren't here. A lot of our administration wasn't here at that point in time. So you're talking about two different teams. But you can see what needed to happen and, and what can happen. I look at Oregon State, for example. When they started getting good in football, um, you know that was probably the worst place facility-wise and things like that. Now it's one of the strong programs in the nation. They played again for the championship to go to the Rose Bowl, this team. Their, their facilities, everything about that has changed as well as the perception of, of Oregon State uh, throughout the country. And, and they rode the momentum when they got a, you know, they started getting some bowl games and they made things happen and they built from it. I think that we can learn from that. We can also see what happens if you don't. I also think that there were some, you know, some some hard blows that got dealt to the University of Idaho at that point in time, also, you know. And as you just you look at just football alone, you know, you, you, the Big West disbanded, and and to, to to maintain a conference, the University of Idaho had to be in the Sun Belt. Well, that's three time zones away, and you're having to recruit against Western people, recruiting Western kids. That's an extreme disadvantage, you know. And, and then, and then the coaching change and those things all started taking place after that. I mean, if we can avoid those things from happening, you know, we've got we've got arguably the the, the second best conference in the West. You know, you get the Pac-10, and then everybody's going to argue about the whack of the Mountain West, which is which one's stronger. You know, we've got how many uh, BCS team? games in the last several years uh, with our champion. Our champion this year beat their champion. Uh, we went 2-0 and against the Mountain West. I mean, but that's the beautiful thing about college football. Everybody can argue those points, and everybody's going to argue for their own team. So so be it. We got the whack in the Mountain West. You got the Pac-10, the three great conferences in the West. We keep these things going strong, and that's great for, for this side of Mississippi football. It's a, it's a very good thing. So what specifically do you have planned in the next you know, 30 to 60 days? Do you take the humanitarian bowl trophy and visit high schools in Idaho? Do you recruit what are what are the plans well I've got two and a half weeks to finish uh, to finish our recruiting class up and this uh, the exposure that we're getting right now the the game the victory the, the season record those things have uh, I think helped solidify the kids that have been committed to us we've only got a couple spots left I think that's going to help that's that's making it more competitive for those final couple spots which is a that's a great thing if we can keep it in that situation I have to knock on wood when you say those things we haven't signed them yet that's my focus at this point in time and that's my sole focus okay um, when we come off of that then it's going be a matter of taking and, and, and building up our you know our team that is that is returning and, and getting goals established and, and a work ethic established so that we can build off of this don't think it's just going to happen hey we got it to this point now you've earned some respect let's let's go let's go demand some respect let's see what we can make this be into so in regards to recruiting that's where we're headed in regards to football that's where we're headed and then I think we need to do a great job with our community our relationships uh, to build off of that and say hey this is this is what we got at this point in time this is what we need to do to take it to the next level. We've proved that it can happen. Come on aboard. You know, I'd like to think that this has proved that you know they don't need to. Does 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 Idaho football belong in the WAC conference at this level? I think we proved that uh, we most definitely can. And if we can do some things to make it be better, maybe we can become a strong player. Have you found a lot of people coming to speak to you saying, "Look, we've been waiting ten years for this or longer, and they're ready to step up and help"? 
I've had a lot of them tell me they've been waiting for it to happen. I've had a lot of them tell me, thanking us for doing it, uh, excited about doing it. And uh, I have had some people tell me that they've done some things to contribute to make a difference. And, and I expect that there will be, I expect that there will be more. I think this will be a great time to, this ought to greatly assist our fundraising efforts would be my expectation.